so, so certain certain words have lots of different things that could stem down to them, and others don't have as many, right? So, but they're really, but you know, if you're arguing the meaning of them, then the the those extra parts of the words egg versus eggs, you know, they're really talking about the same thing, probably, right? So the stemming is clustering them together, and this is. So maybe this is a modeling choice, but you can also think of it as, as this distance. And because you can reduce it to the Jacquard distance on the clusters, you know it still has all the nice properties of, of the uh, Jacquard distance. Right. So, um, so, um, so, so, so what we talked about today was mainly about the modeling of all this. Next time, and the next two lectures next week, we'll talk about how to do this really, um, how do you estimate the Jacquard distance for really big sets is what we're going to do um, on Monday. And then on Wednesday, we're going to say, I'm going to have a, a really large number of documents, and I want to find all the similar documents quickly. How do I do that without checking, even without even competing all of the similarities? So, th so that's what we're moving forward. And we're going to use you know, this notion of Jacquard distance in order as the kind of the base way we're going to measure these things.